Veracruz in Mexico, we found ourselves trapped and were able to escape, but at the cost of our magnificent ship, the Albatross. As a captain, I understand how hard that must be. It was terrible to see it burning because of that assassin shadow. We were locked up as prisoners and treated as if we were sick and carrying the plague, and we didn't know what had become of Jojo. But we never gave up and finally managed to escape, overcoming every obstacle. However, I had lost something else that terrible day, something that I was not willing to give up. Raise them some more! By Uncle Neptune's beard, we have to pick up more speed! We've raised the sails as high as we can. We won't go faster. This is one ugly ship we took. Well, at least there's nothing missing in the gallery. I have to go back to Veracruz. Are you crazy? When the Albatross was burned down, the Codex was still on board. I have to see for myself if it was absolutely destroyed in the fire, or see if I might be able to recover it. No, I'm sorry. You're saying you want us to turn around and risk our necks with the Spanish again just to see if you can find one book from a burning ship. I agree. You're crazy. The Codex isn't just an ordinary book. And I never intended to put all of your lives in jeopardy over this. So I'm going to go by myself. You can't go back there alone. You'll be running right into the hands of Blade and Shadow. Well then, I am not giving you permission. And if you don't listen to me, then I'm gonna have to confine you to your room. That book was given to me by Dr. Livesey, and I have to protect it. I only ask that you get me closer to the coast and I'll handle the rest. Look at you, trying to be a hero. And do you know what heroes really are? They're people like me who put themselves in harm's way without thinking it through. I don't think I'm a hero, but we have to save the world from a terrible threat and the Codex is the only hope we have of finding out how to stop it. If Ben were alive, you'd be agreeing with Captain Jim. And in his opinion, we should be coming up with a good plan of action instead of talking. I already have a plan. I'll throw together a disguise, go into town, find out more information, sneak in and take the Codex, and then you guys return to pick me up. Oh, brilliant. And while you're at it, maybe you can visit the Viceroy and give him our best wishes. I think Long John is right. This is a bad idea. What if you get into trouble and really need help? Then what if I brought Flint? I could use him as a contact between me and you. What do you say? Flint, do you feel ready? Ah, Flint, ready! Ah! I trusted you, Don Pereira, and this is what I got? The town in a panic and the prisoners have escaped? The panic will soon subside. The supposed plague brought by the pirates turned out to be only a deceitful ruse, a desperate attempt by those scoundrels to sow chaos among the people. But we have to recapture the fugitives. I can raise anchor on my frigate right away. But I need more ships. I'll spare none of my ships just to chase down a group of troublemakers, especially not if their only weapon was just an annoying skin rash. In that case, I'll manage on my own. I'm quite used to not relying on anyone else anyway. Your Excellence, pay no attention to the way Lord Blake spoke to you. He's counting on your alliance more than ever. That's very good then, because I want to make some revisions to our agreement. There is always a tough lock that just wants to make everything difficult. Well, then it's certainly getting exactly what it wants. Don't give up yet, my boy. <laughs> ah. Hmm. 
We looked through these old clothes. I think we can use these to make you look like a Spanish sailor. What do you think? I think it could work. But I also think I'm a little too pale to pass for Spanish. I'm going to prepare some makeup for your skin. I've used it before for some of my own misdeeds. <laughs> it's very convenient. And Flint is now ready to go. I've trained him well and now he'll be the perfect messenger. Let's show him, Flint. If you can bring me back the ticket that I planted in the bow, then you can have this biscuit. Ah, Flint to the ticket! Ah! Ah! Ah, uh, not that way. Didn't you hear me tell you to go to the bow? Uh, well, he's not the best messenger now, but there's still time to improve. Hopefully he'll be better by tomorrow. A Spanish look, I guess you can get. Huh? Ooh. So how do I look? Authentic. Mm. Promise you'll mm. come back to us soon, Jim Hawkins. Mm-hmm. This seems like a good place to spend the night. You should try to rest now, Flint. I feel like tomorrow's going to be a hard day. Good night, my little friend. Uh, Flint! My friend! Flint says good night, my friend! Wow. Now let's see if Blade and Shadow are still here and where they might be. If the Codex has been stolen, then they're the ones who would do it. That's the Governor's flagship. I have to get on board somehow. What will you do when you get back to England? Find a new ship to board or settle down? Settle down? Are you crazy? I prefer the sea. I'm going back to Cornwall. I'd still be there if that lousy recruiter hadn't bought me so many drinks at the village tavern that night. Excuse me? I don't mean to interrupt you, gentlemen, but if you need extra help, well, I really need to make some extra money. Go out to our ships. They're getting ready to board. They always need a couple of extra hands. Hey, I like your little parrot friend. What do you call him? Um, Pedro. Ah, uh, Clint, the pirate, ah! Uh. Ah, so he speaks. But is he called Pedro or Flint? And how does he speak English? Where did you find him? I think that, oh, that he came from another ship. I thought he ran away and I found him and called him Pedro. Well, I like him. And if you really need money, like you said, I'll buy him right now. I'm offering one Spanish gold doubloon. Oh no, sir, I, um, you see, Pedro isn't for sale. He's my friend. All right then, get out of here, kid. Hurry, we have to set sail tonight. Move it along. Mister, I, I can work. I'm very strong. Mm. Very well. The pay is good, all inclusive. If you're going to join us, start with that load. I have to find a way to reach the lower cabins. What are you doing? 
How do I know you didn't break in here to steal from us? Oh no, sir. I swear I'm not. I... I got lost. Then you go back that way. Well, how am I going to make my way to the stern? There are too many sailors on board. Uh, 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 I don't take no for an answer. I say the parrot belongs to me now. Huh? And here's one Spanish gold doubloon. I might be a pirate, but I'm not a crook. Slave pirate! Ah! Uh, uh, slave pirate! Ah! 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 Um, Pedro, my old friend, um, it's all for the best. I'll take the doubloon and you can go with the sailor. <laughs> Such loyal friends. But then, throw in one doubloon and it's all over. There's no other choice. I have to change the plan and try to save Flint. I'll have to be a stowaway. Oh, Captain! All hands on deck! All hands on deck! Oh, Captain! Ah. Uh. to support Royale. Don't think too much about getting silver. Now that we have the Codex, the mysterious book of magic, we have a weapon we can use to fight against whoever we want. Yes, and once I'm released from that demon Huracan, it means my revenge will have fewer obstacles. With all this darkness, how will we see Flint? Be calm, my little lady. Flint won't come before tomorrow. If he doesn't, we'll give it one day before we decide to change course. Then what? Are we gonna give up on Jim? No. It means that Jim didn't find the book in Vera Cruz, so he made his way onto one of Blade's ships. So we'll follow it by setting a course for Jamaica. Right under Blade's nose? And with the shadow there, too? This is insanity. That's what I told him. But that's Jim for you. You know how stubborn he can be. So why are you only just now telling us about all these plans? And why didn't Jim tell us himself? Because he knew you wouldn't agree to it. So I promised not to tell you until you needed to know. There's no need to argue about it now. Tomorrow is another day. Curses, Jim. I'm gonna die of a broken heart. That Uncle Neptune better watch your back. What is it? Did you find something inside? That book? Incarnations? Antidotes? How long is this reading going to take you? Oh, Flint Pirate! All hands on deck! All hands on deck! Flint Pirate! Oh. You crazy parrot! Stop talking or I'll give you something to screech about! That parrot! Where did you find it? Give me the details! Sir, uh, pay no attention to him. I bought him from Veracruz, and I don't know where he comes from. See, I was just sitting and having a drink with a friend. Uh, um, I bought him from a boy, and I paid for him. I didn't steal it, Mr. Shadow, I swear. I didn't ask you if you stole it. I need to know where, when, and how. Describe uh, the boy you bought him uh, from. His age, his uh, features, tell me! Yes, sir. At the port, before we set sail, a, a boy was about, I think, 13 years old. He was just a typical Mexican beggar. I heard him speak perfect English, but I could have been wrong. I forget. When and where was the last time you saw this boy around? Sir, the boy had come aboard looking for work, but I found him wandering around in the cargo hold, so I told him to get out. There aren't any beggars in Mexico who can speak English. It was Hawkins in disguise. He's come here to uh. take back the Codex. Ah, danger! Ah! Everyone listen to me closely. There's a stowaway on board. He's a boy, 13 years old, dressed as a beggar. Search the entire ship. Flip over every table if that's what it takes, but I want him found. As you request, Commander. 
What are you waiting for, you dogs? I want this crew to be all over this ship. I have this situation under control. I hope for your sake you are, Captain. Huh? Put two armed guards in front of my cabin. Tell them to shoot on sight if the boy comes for the book. Hmm. Better not even miss a cord. What do they want? Flint? Shadow must have recognized him. I have to escape. Nothing over here either. Let's try the other side. Good. They didn't see me. I have to keep going. Sleep. Sleep, young medicine man. No one will find you. Now watch it. <laughs> Lord Blade, I'm ashamed to tell you this, but we found no trace of a stowaway being uh, on board. My lord, I personally searched throughout the whole ship. I checked every inch of the galley and the armor, and I also looked as far down as the rudder just to be sure. But I can assure you, on the heads of my children, there's no stowaway here. Hmm. Hawkins, I know you're here. If you can hear me, turn yourself over or say goodbye to the parrot. You have five seconds to come out, or it will be too late. One, two. Keep sleeping, young medicine man. Three, four. so dirty in my whole life. Uh, huh? Uh. Flint, you old pirate. Come here, my friend. So you got away. You sure did. You little scoundrel, how did you do it? Uh, Flint, bro. Uh, uh. Shadow could recognize you, right? I knew it right away when I saw that they were looking for me. But then I don't remember anything. I think I fell asleep from just sheer exhaustion. And I stayed asleep until the ship was just about to dock. And you? How did you manage to escape and find your way back to me, in spite of everything? Speak up. Mm. Well, apparently we both share a lucky star. I hope it can last, because tonight you and I have to go looking for the Codex. Hurry up with the garbage. We still sweep the entire floor and clean the chimneys. It's on fire! Someone help! The wagon's on fire! What? Come on, we gotta catch it! The governor will have our heads for sure! I told you we shouldn't have left the garbage unattended! Oh, you're so smart! Will you guys shut up and keep running? When we helped Long John escape, we came from there. Now I want you to fly this stick all the way up there and put it into the hole. The stick into the hole, do you understand? Go on. Ah, stick! 
goes into the hole. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Way to go, Flint. Now I'll climb up the rope. Ah, Flint, put the stick in the hole. Ah. Yes, that's right. I'll be right up. Ah. Thank you, Flint. Hurry, take this and walk in front of me. We have to get to the bottom of this casing. We'll be arriving in the heart of Blade Estate. Shh, we need an absolute silence. We've entered the lion's den. isn't in here. But where else could he possibly keep it? Everything oh. is fine, my lord. It was <laughs> just a silly accident started by those foolish <laughs> cooks. <laughs> Very well. But tell the garrison to stay on high alert tonight. My lord, I've been studying the codex all night. With your permission, I would like to go today. I'm retiring. You may do as you wish. Okay, Flint. Now we know exactly where we have to look. But we have to wait a bit longer to make sure that the assassin is fast asleep and won't wake up on us. But I've been expecting you, young Master Hawkins. When I heard the wagon had caught fire, I knew you were coming. I can make you a deal. If you don't want me to feed your parrot to the ravens, then talk. Tell me how to find your friends. Fly, Flint, fly! You! I will get you, Hawkins. You will not get away. No, it's useless. Go on, Flint. Look for our friends. Try to find our crew. Tell them they'll find me here. I'm going to hide myself in the forest along the coastline. The zombies! Wake up! Get the boy! Grab him! What are you doing? Obey me! Oh. It's useless! Huracan! He's been protecting huh? the boy this whole time! He helped him escape from my room when I had my gun aimed at him! Slave, huh? did you really believe it would be that easy to get rid of me? Did you really think that you and your assassin could win a fight against me and the wisdom of my people? Get huh? back to my mission, back to my vengeance, and don't let me catch you meddling with these fools again, or I promise you'll face real punishment. Yes, they're here! They all made it! Our battle still must carry on, you heartless villains. On for Dr. Livesey, for all the friends we've lost, for all of us! This isn't over yet.
the virus. <laughs>